when I was a kid with 1D, I always thought Alex Kid was a pretty crappy game. Now, I know better now, but my reasons for not liking the game were somewhat true. For example, I thought the game's graphics were very weak, and they are. This game just feels like it should be something on the Nintendo. It just doesn't seem like a next-gen Sega Genesis game. The graphics are very rudimentary, and so are the controls. The controls can be downright frustrating in Alex Kidd. Why can't I get up there and smash this damn chest? This is ridiculous. You see, aside from various power-ups, Alex has two primary attacks. One is a jumping kick, and one is a punch. The punch has no reach, and I do not recommend using it against enemies unless you just have the timing of an army sniper. The jumping kick sucks too. You see, you jump, and you let go of the jump to kick, and the hit detection is just horrible with this kick, so you will seldom actually hit any of the chests that are floating up somewhere which are hard to reach. I found myself avoiding a lot of loot which I could have easily picked up otherwise if the hit detection wasn't crappy in the game. So what makes Alex Kidd a good game? Well, it's a little game that's charming. It has really fun, colorful graphics. Alex Kidd himself looks like a monkey that's a member of the Beatles. And overall, this is a fun game to play. It's a lot of fun collecting the coins, it's a lot of fun traversing through the various levels, and all the levels look different. That's another thing I absolutely love about the game. All the levels are fun and colorful, and they're just a fun pick-me-up. You want to see what's coming next, you want to see what kind of happy little enemies are going to be in your way. And none of the levels are too identical in terms of gameplay. A lot of retro platformers make the mistake of just changing the background, but then making most of the enemies and most of the obstacles in the levels identical. Not only are you traversing different environments in Alex Kid, but you're also fighting different enemies like fish, squids, gophers, cars. It all depends on the environment. You're in a wacky little city, there's gonna be wacky little beetle cars. You're in the forest, there's gonna be hedgehogs trying to impale you. You're in the water, there's gonna be a tentacle monster trying to molest you like you're a Japanese schoolgirl. This is where Alex Kidd shines, the variety of different fun enemies and different environments. This is not the greatest game of all time, but it's a fun platformer. Also, this isn't a complicated game, you can just pick it up and play it. There's not a lot of thinking involved, and any thinking that is involved, you will be able to figure out on the spot. There are some tricky situations that need to be replayed, and Alex Kidd dies from one hit, so you do need to be aware about the fact that the game can be pretty hard if you're not paying attention. Alex Kidd is ultimately a fun, charming platformer with some bad controls, but these things can be overlooked, and I can objectively call this a good game. Thanks for watching, goodbye my friends.